What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a very special one because I've never had a part like this on any of my vehicles. Yes, I know it's a generic part as you guys can see from the title and thumbnail, but I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Let's check it out. All right, so here it is. Sorry for the dog licking itself and the lack of cleanliness here, but this is a part I got from ECS Tuning, and I will show you guys, well, I'll talk to you guys and explain how I got this for the price that I'm about to tell you that I paid for it. So first, let's unbox it and see what we got. There we are. It is an ECS front splitter for the Volkswagen. It looks identical to the Maxton design. Design? It just doesn't have any badging here. Um, I think it's gonna look really great on the Volkswagen itself. So let's go ahead and get it outside. I'll talk to you guys more about how, how I bought this and how I still have a bargain for it. So let's get outside and fit it up. All right, so let's talk about the lip, how much I paid for it and how well it's going to fit. So like I said, I got this on ecstuning.com. I was actually shopping for a lip uh, a few weeks ago and I didn't know how much it was exactly going to cost me. I knew it was not gonna be a cheap, mod but i did not know it was going to be this cheap what do i mean by this cheap i mean i paid 87 dollars for that splitter no it's not maxed in design it is an ecs branded splitter now how did i get it so cheap well i actually this is a scratch and dent item and what that means is basically when whoever ordered it uh, fedex usually jacks up their shipping 99 percent of the time and I'll show you guys, right, you see that little nick right there? All that's underside, so I'm not worried about that. There is an area here, though, that I did not see in the pictures online. Where is it at? Right here. It's, it's cracked, but that's okay. You know, this is a $200 lip, and that's, that's the only issue. Um, visually, what you're not going to see is what I showed you. <laughs> it's gonna be under the car nobody's gonna see it unless um, you know I take it to a shop or, or I jack it up I will know it's there but that's okay so I paid $87 for the lip plus shipping ended up being about a hundred bucks with tax and shipping hey get away from that get on your slide play with your slide play with your slide there you go so it was about 100 bucks shipped to me now these lips are 200 dollars by themselves that's before shipping before tax so you're probably about 230 240 maybe shipped to you so that's how i got this one so cheap but here's the kicker when i called when well, actually when i ordered this monday um two days later it still had not shipped out which is unusual because they're really quick about shipping typically same day and it said inventory adjustment on their website. And what that means is it was either misplaced or mislabeled and they couldn't find it. So Matt at ECS Tuning told me, you know what, our shipping department sucks. I'm gonna admit it. What we're gonna do is just send you a brand new lip uh, out to your house. I'm not gonna charge you anything extra, so you're getting a bargain, so that's what we're gonna do. I told him, dude, you are the MVP. Thank you a lot but this one's cracked. This is the scratch and dent lip. So am I gonna get another one? I don't know. Let's go ahead and put this one on the car, see how it looks. And by the way, Matt was also very nice enough to explain to me to upgrade to these Torx screws because the Phillips screws typically round out and we all know that. But these are T25 Torx screws that I'm going to be using to mount this and there are a total of seven mounting points. So there are three up here that I'm gonna mount in the, the underside of the front bumper, not on the actual plastic piece, but on the bumper. Then there are two in each side of the splitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all seven in now and show you guys how it looks. Well guys, there it is. I know it's in the shade, so let's see if this camera will adjust to the lighting. There you go. Everything is, everything is screwed in. Yes, I need to wash the car. It's 99% perfect on both sides. 
Uh, the only issue I ran into was these, there's two screws on each side and then the three in the middle. So the outer screw was fine, but the inner screw, which is around the fog light area where those little shrouds are, on both sides, the inner screw had a hard time breaking through the fiberglass. I'm not sure why because the other sides went in fine, um, but I got them in. They're probably going to fall out, but oh well. It looks freaking awesome. Just gives it so much more aggression um, for the front end or to the front end. And I'm just, I'm happy with it. What do you guys think? Does it look, does it look better? It's a subtle improvement. I'm not going for anything, you know, ridiculous. Just subtle. It's one of those OEM plus mods, I guess. <laughs> but that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the, the video. I think I might have another one on the way on accident. I'll contact ECS and see what they want to do about that. If they tell me just to keep it, I'll probably either take this one off and have it refinished to get the cracks and everything uh, sealed up correctly and either do this one as a giveaway or give away the other one to another um, GLI owner. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one. Caught in the crossfire